consider time series model defined by this so how this is different from the other questions we already solved that is what we need to know here you need to find the autocorrelation here rho 1 and alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 are not given here remember whatever problems we have solved by now there you had the values of alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 so it was easier for you to solve now that alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 are not given you have to solve it so this is a general kind of a solution if you see row 1 here that is alpha 1 plus alpha 2 alpha 3 divided by 1 minus alpha 2 whatever okay so this value this expression in the right that is what you need to find although you have not solved this kind of a problem i don't think it will be difficult for you to solve and find the value of row row 1 here then given the values alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 and you need to find row 1 row 2 also here okay maybe finding row 1 will not that be difficult that's why only one but given the values you you can find the roots and you can check it stationary or not then you can find another one row 2 this is the question so before attempting the question you have to know what is that you are supposed to do here okay so to find row 1 again remember i will discuss all today the one that was not done before one question i already said you we'll do that one but we'll start with ar then we'll go to ma okay arma sorry we'll start with ar1 okay so whatever was left yesterday we'll continue with that so here if you see this is a completely AR process we'll try to find row 1 by this gamma 1 we'll write gamma 1 gamma 1 is covariance xt xt minus 1 so if you write gamma 1 here covariance xt normally we write alpha 1 xt minus 1 alpha 2 xt minus 2 alpha 3 xt minus 3 plus et then finally you need to write xt minus 1 here So if you write that way, if you find this one, the first one, okay, this will be alpha 1, covariance of xt minus 1, xt minus 1, then that will be, you know that, alpha 1, let me write here, the difference is 2 here, and then et xt minus 1, 0 because i found gamma 1 so from gamma 1 if you want to find row 1 you need to divide by gamma naught also you can use u local equations to find this one you don't don't need to uh, do this way okay so row 1 will be if you divide by gamma naught let me write here you write this way so if you write this way then what will happen gamma 1 divided by gamma naught that will be row 1 okay alpha 1 plus alpha 2 and this one will be again row 1 and alpha 3 this will be row 2 now if you see this is one equation but we have two unknowns row 1 and row 2 we want row 1 here but we have two equations here so that's the problem now if you use u locker equation to write another equation for row 2 suppose i will find row 2 here this is ar3 okay if you find row 2 here 
you do with x t minus 2 if you do with x t minus 2 we'll get directly gamma 2 from gamma 2 to rho 2 you will get okay so remember you will work our equation if i start with 2 you will end up this one with 1 alpha 1 rho 1 okay then alpha 2 you will get gamma naught so that will get cancelled plus alpha 3 here you will get gamma 2 means 1 0 minus 1 that will be 1 okay gamma 1 from gamma 1 i will get rho 1 after dividing dividing by this one okay so these are the two equations now at least we got two equations and two unknown so we'll try to solve it will be exactly like whatever way we must have solved the equations in eighth standard if you solve these two equations you can eliminate one of the variables and possibly will try to eliminate rho 2 because rho 1 is given in terms of alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 that is what you need to do okay so suppose you see this kind of a question first time in the exam you have to think how to find rho 1 here so it will look as if there is a lot asked in the question but it's not if you know that this is a ar3 process and you have to find rho 1 there are not many methods there is only one method to find rho 1 so you need to form equations using this way or by using yule walker formulas okay once you form the equations you have to identify that there are two unknowns and two variables you can say rho 1 rho 2 in terms of alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 you need to find that's all you eliminate you find rho 2 here all if you see in the right hand side we have rho 1 and alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 put that here wherever you have rho 2 suppose here if you put okay this equation the first equation will contain only rho 1 and alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 so solve that and find rho 1 that's all then these are given okay once these are given you check whether it's stationary or not now that it's a third degree equation these are given and you see the one root already here you will get this way okay if you if you put uh, the values of alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 here and uh, you find the characteristics polynomial then you will see this kind of a expression okay when you see this kind of an expression you have to factorize it already hint is given so you know one root is more than one you have to solve this one and you see whether the other two, two roots are greater than one in absolute value or not that's all you need to do here and then row one and row two already you uh, you have row one value okay here if you put alpha one alpha two alpha three that row one you put here you will get row two that's all this is over now let's go to the next question in this question you need to classify this is also past question i think india past question classify each of the following process as arima pdq if possible okay this is number one you have to write in terms of arima pdq okay let's do first one what is one here define giving relevant equations the three main linear models used for modeling stationary time series okay this is a theoretical one will not worry let's go here this classification okay part one xt is given 0 0.6 et minus 1 plus et when you see this one you are sure that there is no no past dependence component here xt in terms of xt so ar part is absent only ma part so if you see it once it looks like as if it's ma1 okay it's MA1. If you agree, then I will write directly MA1 without discussing anything with you. There is nothing to test here. Okay. MA1. Let me write MA1. Okay. But you, you need to write in terms of Arima. So you can write Arima. pdq pdq when you say p you have to write okay what is p here p is 0 there is no unit root so d is 0 
and this is one arima 0 1 1 so arima means what arima classification when you apply differencing zero times you should get this one how about this one this should be stationary right if this is not stationary there is a problem now if you see the second one okay see the second one you can write this way using b 1 minus b x t see this is uh, 1 x t minus 2 okay so though it looks like it's uh, arma 1 1 it's not arma 1 1 okay because we have x t minus 2 so you have to write in terms of x t minus 1 as well x t minus 1 as well there is no x t minus 1 so there are two actually a r terms a r 2 and m i if you see t minus 3 is there so you ju just don't count if you count then there is a problem if you count you will get arma 1 1 which is not true 1.4 x t minus 2 that is equal to e t I have to write right hand side then 0 0.5 et let me write et plus 0 et minus 1 plus 0 et minus 2 okay plus 0 0.5 et minus 3 even this one also you have to write 0 xt minus 1 okay so if you write the polynomial here characteristics polynomial or maybe uh, that that general form way this will be b square xt okay so if you take xt common you will get 1 minus 1.4 b square xt this way so when you get this way the left hand side this way this is quadratic one okay this is quadratic polynomial so 2 here not 1 so if you write the characteristic equation for ar part it will be 1 minus 1.4 z square okay that is equal to 0 so z square will be 1 divided by 1 divided by 1.4 okay that is 14 divided by 10 10 divided by 14 if you take this one that side this will be 1 divided by 1.4 okay 1 divided by 14 by 10 so 10 divided by 14 that is 5 divided by 7 so these are the these are the roots here square root you have to take 5 divided by 7 so you will get two roots here but this is not stationary first of all this is not stationary because the roots are not greater than 1 here roots are not greater than 1 less than 1 okay two roots you will get 5 divided by square root of 7 this one and another one modulus if you take you will get this so that that will be greater than one okay that's not less than one sorry that is less than one not greater than one less than one so this this process is not stationary okay remember this process is not stationary you check the right hand side you will get one this is b e t e t minus 1 so 0 0 0 and here 0 0.5 b power 3 e t this way if you find the characteristic equation to check for invertibility for m a part you have to write this way 1 plus z power 3 divided by 2 is equal to 0 ok and then you need to solve this side as well 
if you do that you will get z cube divided by 2 is equal to minus 1 okay power 3 is equal to minus 2 is the minus 2 so you write this side 2 0 you apply this formula a plus b then a square 2 power 1 by 3 z okay plus b square that will be 2 power 2 by 3 so this this is what you must have said already 2 power 1 by 3 whatever it is minus 2 power 1 by 3 okay and that you need to do here whether it's greater than 1 or less than 1 what is 2 power 1 by 3 you said tell me minus 1.259 sir 259 are you sure 259 uh, yes sir okay so 2 power 1 by 3 is still greater than 1 right it's still greater than 1 okay yeah this is fine this is fine one root is uh, if you take the mod here modulus that will be greater than one this is fine how about the other roots here also you have to find you have to check whether uh, this one is uh, the other two roots are greater than one or not we are checking for invertibility now but the question is that you can always do and you can check because it's a quadratic equation all quadratic equations you can solve will have, will have absolutely no problem but the question is here if you go by the question this will also be required but this is not a part of the question they say you classify as arima pdq so if you see this side we have three terms and this side we have two terms and we check the ma part to test for invertibility not for stationarity because ma, MA process is always stationary we will not worry about that so invertibility is a different part but yeah this type of a question is there that's why i wanted to solve it so that uh, you'll know how uh, i mean you'll know the variety of questions you might get in the exam now the question is we need to classify whether this is arma 23 process or not so the only thing remains now to see because we have two here three terms here so it appears as if this is arma 2 3 this is arma 2 3 there is absolutely no doubt this is arma 2 3 there is no problem at all but if you check the arima 1 arima 1 can we write in the form of arima that is the question this is arma 2 3 okay and this is not stationary so see my question is this is arma 2 3 and this is non stationary let, let me write here this is not stationary now can you write this as this question i'm saying b part arima arima 2 3 we have 2 0 3 can you write this that is my question this is fine arma 2 3 is fine can you write this way Arima 203. Yes or no? So we need to check whether B is 0 or not. No, no, we already checked, right? There is no unit root here. There is no unit root here. So you will not get any D here. So then it's 0. Then? Then we can write it. Then you can write. What is the meaning of this? Arima 203, what is the meaning of this? Uh, AR2 process and uh, integrated process is 0 and MA3. Okay, MA3. Uh, no, no, I am saying, you go on mute. What I am saying is, this is Arima203. Arima203, if you write, what is the meaning of this? When you say Arima203, we have two AR parts, three MA parts. 
what this zero means is this process stationary first of all no no it's not stationary why not stationary no no this is not stationary i've written here arma non stationary i've written here okay how about this what is the meaning of this what is the meaning of this let me write arima arima p d q arima is one form of non stationary so when we say arima when you when i ask you answer okay when i ask then only answer okay sir yeah arima p d q so when i say arima p d q this process is not stationary but when you differentiate d times it will become stationary that is the definition so if you apply differencing three times d times it should become stationary so that means if you apply differencing zero times you will not difference at all this should be stationary if i write one here you have to apply differencing once to make it stationary now that we have zero this must be stationary that means arima 203 is a stationary process particularly i brought this problem because next time in the next class probably tomorrow or day after tomorrow we'll discuss processes which are arma and non stationary remember in one of the classes i already explained arima is only one class of non stationary processes arima doesn't cover all non stationary processes arima means what this is a particular kind of non stationarity i'm saying this is not stationary but you can make it stationary just by just by applying differencing three d times that's all so it will become stationary that means this is id process this is id process means if the, there is integrated okay this is a integrated process the add on effect you can remove and you can make it stationary easily so there is only one way one way of treatment for this one but there are other kinds of non stationary as well we'll discuss all the arma processes which you, which you can classify as id and they are non stationary we'll discuss in the next class okay and then how can you make it stationary how can you make these things stationary by using other methods you have to see whether there is a cycle or maybe there is any kind of uh, uh, seasonal effect all those things we will see here which are not part of id so again i am repeating arima is only one class of non stationary time series there are other types of non stationary as well if i fever or some this is some problem okay i will say that i will not be able to take a class so when i say i will not be able to take a class it doesn't mean that i have only fever or a particular disease okay i could have other problems that's what we'll see what other uh, other things are there which will make a process non stationary and also removal of those will do okay suppose there is a uh trend okay there is a seasonal component we'll see what kind of the seasonal component if you see we have one example we'll consider next time the greeting card sales okay during uh, during december and january it increases only one or two months but if you predict for july definitely will not take a june figure so you need last 10 year december figure only they will work so there is a 12 uh, month lag okay in the data so that one that that's kind of seasonal so those who are doing this kind of business they have to see the seasonality okay seeing the july figure they can't predict for uh, august or maybe seeing the november figure they can't predict for december that might be problematic because the demand in december is suppose uh, 100 the demand uh, in november is 100 the demand for december will not be 100 maybe it's in thousands there will be 10 times 20 times increase how can you incorporate that 
okay so we'll see what are all uh, forms of non stationarity in the next class we are now considering only one form of non stationarity and invariable in data science if you are doing we always talk about arima sarima also there okay but we are not going to that for this question we can classify this way okay remember it's arma non stationary here only will stay because we check that there is no unit root here okay so d part is not there there is no such thing is present which you can apply procedure differencing procedure you can make it stationary but it's non stationary as well okay so uni having unit root is one problem but if i have, see what i am saying is again when we talk about arima how it will be we'll have a unit root and we have we have roots like 2.1 3.2 so we say that see this is this is the problem so let's apply differencing and take out this unit root then we'll have two roots which are greater than 1 then this is stationary so the original process with the unit root is arima is non stationarity with this one okay that is what we say but if the roots are not greater than 1 in absolute value okay and this process is non stationary and there is no unit root also so how can you classify that is arima that is a question okay so if still you have some doubt in mind things will be cleared in course of time okay now go to part 3 do you have any other thing c if you see this one xt minus 1 by 4 xt minus 1 here okay and this one then uh, we have uh, 0 0.4 you can do that and right hand side also this okay let me write this i'll write this one 1 minus 1 by 4 z okay and then plus 0 0.4 z square is equal to 0 this will be 4 z square okay and you multiply with 10 here one point you multiply with 100 40 z square and minus 14z plus 100 is equal to 0. If you divide it by 2, you will get 20z square minus 7z plus 50, 0. Now 50, 20 we have. So if you bring 2 from here, you will get 40. Still you will not get 7. Okay. So can you see? the difference is 7 here 20 50 let me write here 20 50 if you bring 2 here it will not work if you bring 5 from here it will become 100 okay let me write all the factors here to 10 and 50 5 5 2 so if i take 2 2 2 okay 8 it will not work 5 2 25 to 50 20 it will not work so you take i don't think uh, so you need to multiply by 10 sir multiply by 10 the, the equation yeah multiply by 10 but but here 1.4 is there oh okay okay i was mistaken that was the problem okay so I have to multiply by 10 only that was fine actually initially so 10 z square sorry 4 z square 4 z square and here 14 z okay so plus 10 okay that's good now if you see 2 z square minus 7 z plus 5 is equal to 0 now 5 to 7 is there okay good so 2z two, two square minus 2z minus 5z plus 50. So if you see, if I take 2z common here, I will get z minus 1. Yeah, the 1 we are getting. Minus 5 if you common, you will get z minus 1. So we have a unit root. Z is 1, z is 5 by 2. So these kind of cases will fit into arima. Z1 and z5 by 2. So there is a 5 by 2. We are quite fine with this one greater than one here there is a problem here that we have to look after and this problem you can 
you can uh, uh, i mean you can come over with this problem you can eradicate this one that's what i'm saying okay and you can make it stationary so this is a kind of arima but before classifying this we'll see the right hand side also if there is a common uh, that we have to take it out so right hand side if you see here in part c we have et plus et minus 1 okay so if you write you will get you will not get a unit root if you get a unit root here then it will not be arima it will be directly arma now see now that we have uh, 1 plus z0 so z will be minus 1 here minus 1 is not a problem okay and the minus 1 is there whether it's invertible or not we will not worry about those things here in arima we will not worry about whether it's invertible or not that is not required at all so this is a clear case of arima okay uh, here though we have two now we'll write one here because you have to apply differencing ones okay after that it will be one one and one it will be arima one 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 you have to recognize this because we have one unit root that is one and after, after applying differencing to this series okay you will have one a term and m a term will be there so it will it's arima 111 that means this is not stationary but this is non stationarity of this type arima 111 which will turn to stationary if you differentiate once that's all now if i change a little bit this question if i change it a little bit then see how the things will change Suppose, I will make another question. I will make another question C dash, okay? I will write this as xt minus is equal to 1 by 4 xt minus 1, then minus 0 0.4 xt minus 2 plus et minus et minus 1. If you if I make this way, then let me write this one. This will be 0 0.4, 0 0.4 b square. This one I will get. Then 1.4 minus 1.4 b. Then I will get 1 plus 1. Okay. Xt is equal to 1 minus b et this is what i will get okay and then if you factorize this one if you factorize this one i got this one z minus one and then the other one is 2z minus 5 okay 5 minus 2z 2b xt is equal to 1 minus b xt so if you do everything for the left hand side you say that there is a unit root so we have to apply differencing here and then it will become arima it will become arma after differentiation it will become arma because this one minus b will no more be there so you will have only one uh, one factor here in terms of nebula xt you will get okay xt minus xt minus one you know that and then you will say that this is like arima one 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 this one and this one the match but this one not this is not arima one 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 because although we have one unit root but there is another one here you can cancel so now if you see it's actually 5 xt minus 2 xt minus 1 is equal to x et okay so if you see this one this is reduced this is c dash is reduced to this this one which is which is directly arma this is arma you can check the root we checked already the root 5 by 2 so this this is stationary arma even if it's not stationary we can write arma it's not that all arma processes are stationary okay this is stationary arma process okay and i'll write 2 here and 0 here this is arma 2 0 even this one disappeared because we cut this term so whatever common factor you have you need to you need to cancel those factors that is what you need to remember here okay now if you go to part 3 in part 3 we talk about this one 
and also when we started MA process we must have done one such kind but that was for MA1 but this is MA3 so in MA3 how can you find autocorrelations MA1 we have already done for MA3 you need to find autocorrelations this is the question okay in this question you have to find autocorrelations for MA3 separately we found for AR processes and for MA1 one problem I have done I remember but this is MA3 so if you want to find autocorrelations for MA3 we will not use Yule-Walker equations remember you need to write covariance of xt xt minus 1 yt is another series which is equal to xt minus 3.1 okay this is yt so yt will be equal to et it is there but i will start with 0 0.25 et minus 1 remember there is no y dependency so nothing else will change only the constant will not be here that's all so in the new process then i have 0 0.5 et minus 2 and then 0 0.25 et minus 3 okay this one let me write it here plus 0 0.25 et minus 3 okay so before doing everything what you need to do is before doing anything you need to find y t minus 1 again i left et here that was the problem right et is a term you have to start with et or you go this way better we have to start with et okay let me write et plus 0 0.25 et minus 1 plus 0 0.5 et minus 2 plus 0 0.25 et minus 3 okay if you write this way then you write all yt yt minus 1 yt minus 2 yt minus 3 now if you replace all these here if you write once your life will be easier this is et minus 2 plus 0 0.5 et minus 3 plus 0 0.25 et minus 4 and you write this one et minus 2 this is 0 0.25 et minus 3 this is the procedure in case of ma process et minus 4 plus 0 0.5 et minus 4 et minus 5 okay now how can you find see the correlation between this one and this one okay one by one i can directly write this way so when i find gamma one okay when i find gamma one i don't need this one let me delete this now these are the ones okay i want to find gamma one even i will find gamma not as well but i'll write that one here but gamma one gamma two gamma three gamma four will not come here remember this one let me write here that will be zero because if i write y t minus 4 you will see there will be no correlation at all now let's find correlation between this one and this one okay you start with this one t with t minus 1 there is no correlation okay t with t minus 2 no correlation because the white noise process they are uncorrelated okay so et correlation with everything if you see you will not get anything but et if you start with et minus 1 you will get here see et minus 1 et minus 1 you will get here see the coefficient 1 here 0 0.25 here so 0 0.25 sigma square you will get let me write here with et minus 1 you will not you will get only 1 with et 0 with et minus 2 you will get here 0 0.25 plus 0 
0.5 sigma square plus with e t minus 3 will get here okay so again another 0 0.25 0 0.5 sigma square so let me multiply it by 2 okay plus 0.25 plus 2 0.5 0 0.25 sigma square okay this is what sigma 1 now erase all and see oh sorry and see the link with the second one slowly the terms will decrease you see how many terms we have we have we have how many terms we have two terms here now go to this one this and this if you start with et no correlation if you start with et minus 1 no correlation but if you start with et minus 2 you will get 1 ok et minus 3 we have with et minus 3 in the first one if you see gamma 1 I have taken with et minus 1 1 et minus 2 1 et minus 3 1 so 3 terms are here remember 3 terms are here you will get 2 terms you will get 2 terms here with et nothing with et minus 1 nothing with et minus 2 you will get one term okay et minus 2 is here et minus 2 is here so 0 0.25 0 0.1 that is 0 0.25 sigma square with et minus 3 you will get one here 0 0.25 0 0.25 square sigma square then if you find this one with 3 you will get only with et minus 3 that is 0 0.25 multiply with 1 sigma square that's all if you find sigma 4 that is 0 anyway i've written here because this is a ma3 process you will get only these three so if you want to find row 1 row 2 row 3 you need to divide by suppose you want to find row 1 row 2 row 3 from these you have to divide by gamma naught right gamma naught if you find yt with yt you need to find correlation so we are not using Euler equation in MA processes because I must have done only for 5 minutes MA1 we have done only once okay let me write all here once again so ET, YT, YT you have to find so ET, ET you have sigma square plus this one, this one will have same same terms okay so this one and this one this is 0 0.025 sigma square plus this one this one point zero five square sigma square plus this one this one point zero two five sigma square so this is a function of sigma square okay you divide this one with this one you will get this you divide this one with this one you will get this you get this one with this one you will get this now by chance if you forgot you go back and you watch when i started ma1 in the class and then you will be able to do this one okay now i would like to take another 10 minutes if you want and i would like to complete okay we have another question let's do anyway then we'll decide fourth question will take 15 minutes if you have time i will do today you have to answer now this one if you see this is another question the price of a stock through time is modeled by the following relationship it's given write the equation in terms of the backward shift operator in the form this okay you need to write in the form of backward shift operator this is arima process this is arima process there are unit roots they will be captured here other polynomial is here and right hand side you will have one polynomial so this is a simple task i suppose but you need to check the roots okay uh, if you get really one root one you will get, if you put one it will be zero this part if you bring all to the left hand side i think this should be an easy problem now for you okay you express this way and also before writing arima you need to be careful that the roots are greater than one in magnitude okay so if i factorize this one okay because i know that one is a root i'll write this way xt minus xt minus one 
I have 1.7 minus 1.7 so minus 0.7 xt minus 1 will, will be there so I have to write plus 0.7 xt minus 2 okay to compensate for that but I have plus 0.4 so I will have point plus point 0.3 point 0.7 I have written okay but I have point 0.4 so I have to write minus point 0.3 minus point 0.3 xt minus 3 and then this one if you bring this here this will be plus point 0.3 xt minus 3 okay minus point xt minus 2 this one that will be equal to et minus 0 0.7 et minus 1 plus 0 0.12 et minus 2 now if you see this side okay if you take xt this one nebula xt nebula xt that is yt you can write minus 0 0.7 nebula xt minus 1 then minus 0 0.3 nebula xt minus 2 i can write Yeah, this computer word says this much is sufficient it should not continue more so it stopped wait xt minus 2 we can replace it by that one I wanted to check if there is any any factor common here as well okay that is important so this is the right hand side I am writing here right hand side only now if I take this is yt how it will look like yt yt minus 7 divided by 10 yt minus 1 minus 3 divided by 10 yt minus 2 ok so if I find the characteristics polynomial here it will be 1 minus 7 by 10 z minus 3 by 10 z square so 3 z square and uh, 3 z square ok this one will be plus minus 7 z and this this is plus so you will get minus plus here and minus 10 that will be equal to 0 ok so I'll get the roots if I see I don't have another unit root here maybe I have a unit root 7 plus 3 10 I have another unit root here I have another unit root here so let me factorize this one 3 z square 7 I can write minus uh, uh, 10 minus 3 10 minus 3 is 7 okay so plus 10 z minus 3 z minus 10 is equal to 0 okay so if I take uh, z common here, I will get 3z plus 10. So z minus 1, 3z plus 10, okay. z minus 1 if I take common here, 3z plus 10 I will get, okay, that is 0. So z is 1 anyway I got, I have to differentiate it once again. And uh, z will be minus 10 by 3. So the root is at least... Uh, more than one in absolute value that's fine okay so it will become stationary so this is a arima process now differentiate it one second yt minus yt minus one you need to write yt minus yt minus one so if i write that way i have to write i have to compensate this one plus three divided by ten yt minus one i have to i have to write minus three divided by ten yt minus two and then when you see this one okay this is nebula nebula yt minus 1 that is suppose zt okay plus 3 by 10 nebula yt minus 1 that will be this is zt this will be zt minus 1 that will be equal to okay now see the right hand side this one also you have to see if there is a factor common that you need to minus 0 0.7 b plus 0 0.12 b square et 
okay now we have to check so d my b is 2 already b is 2 and this one 5b in terms of b i can write this one 1 plus this is 3 by 10 b z t okay i got this way so 1 plus 3 by 10 b that is my 5b okay wait it stopped working wait a minute so i got 5b 5b is 1 plus 3 by 10 b but i have to make it sure that there is no common if there is a common factor 1 plus 3 by 10 b i have to cut it that is what i need to check so you need to factorize the right hand side as well you need to factorize the right hand side as well so let me factorize the right hand side 12b square and uh, i will get uh, if i multiply by 100 i will get 70b okay minus 70b plus 100 so you factorize it minus 70b plus 100 so if you divide by 4 here 2 here 6b square minus 35b plus 50 that will be equal to 0 okay so can you do something here make it sure that this one will this factor will not come that's all that's all i want to see so 50 means 25 into 2 25 here 12 we will get okay no so that's what you have to check if there is no factor common suppose supposing that i don't have time so supposing that there is no common factor between this and this okay if that is true then 5b will be this one and i got 2 here and theta b will be this one that is the only thing you need to check okay so and then it will be arima arima here i got 1 twice i differentiated so i have to write 2 okay and this is stationary also the root is uh, minus 3 by 10 i will write arima 1 2 and then 2 okay this two part will not change but one thing you need to make it sure one thing you need to check after writing this one here you have to check that this factor is not cancelled here by chance if this is cancelled then this will be arima if there is a common factor after cancelling this will be 0 okay this will be 2 and this will be 1 one factor will be cancelled this is a quadratic one okay so you will have another so these two types i have now so you put minus 10 by 3 here if this is satisfied you know that the root matches so you will get a factor and that factor you have to cut and it will be like arima 0 to 1